still waiting for this world to stop hating can't find a good reason can't find hope to believe in Okay, what happens if you're the very last person on stage? What do you do? Do a song and dance? No. If you're the last person on stage, all you're going to do is come to your spot, pause here for a second, and then you go ahead and exit. So everyone say bye, Solomon. All right, how do you feel? Good? I want everybody who was just up on the runway to stand up. And I want you to take a bow because you deserve it. Very good, everybody. <laughs> Have a seat. You know, it's really cool when you can hear people yelling and cheering for you. Um, so as a group, if, you know, if you've got a big group or even if you don't have a big group, you know, when you're sitting around watching your competitions, just ask the people around you to cheer with you. Um, they'll do it because everybody here is a team player, right? Right. Well, I am so proud of you. Again, good runway is just clean runway. It's not about who's got the best walk, and I know girls especially, it's hard for you because y'all size each other up, and that's not what this is about. Like, she's better. She's got bigger boobs. What? I, I'm keeping it real. She's got, her legs are thinner than mine. You know, in swimsuit competition, girls are going to be back there looking at each other's bodies. And let me tell you something about girls. And I know this because I am one. Girls always want what they don't have. If you've got straight hair, you want curly hair. If you have curly hair, you want straight hair. If you have big boobs, you want flat boobs because it makes you look skinnier and all the fashion models have flat boobs. If you don't have any... If you don't have a chest, you want a big chest. You know, God doesn't make mistakes. And he makes you just the way you are for purpose. I wasn't six feet tall for nothing. I'm six feet tall because I know that there is a divine purpose in my life to come here and speak to young people. And if I wouldn't have been tall and if I wouldn't have been a model, I wouldn't be doing what I'm doing now. You know what? And maybe you're not tall enough to be a model. You know, maybe you're doing commercial print um, or you're in the commercial category, and that's okay too. But you are formed uniquely the way that you are for a very special purpose. So when you're back there in swimsuit and you're looking around at each other, girls, remember, you're not in competition with each other. This is about you. This is just about coming down, and there may be five or ten agents that are interested in you, and there may be only one. But you know what? All you need is one. What if you only get one call back? All you need is one agent that's crazy about you, and there you go. So if you see somebody that gets 10 and you get two, that's okay. It's okay. You know what? Guys are just as bad. I've been talking about girls. Let me talk about the guys. You know what guys do? Push-ups. Guys are so bad. During the swimsuit competition, I'll walk backstage to see some of my guys or girls, and all the guys are back on the floor just hoofing it, just pushing all the push-ups they can do. And then they stand up and their faces are bright red or they look flushed or, you know, I guess it just kind of makes their muscles pop out like a hair of an inch. It's not even really a big deal. But, you know, guys are just as concerned about they, they look as the girls are. 
And why am I bringing this to your attention? Because the runway, you know, is this business of modeling is, is focused a lot on the way that you look. And what a shame, I think. But that's the business, and that's the way it is. But more than the way you look, it's focused on what's in your heart. And that's what I want to talk to you about as we close. I don't know what kind of burdens you bring or what's going on in your life or what makes you feel insecure. But if anybody's insecure, it was me. And for a long time as a model, I remember thinking to myself, gosh, if I, if I wasn't modeling, I would be nothing. I wouldn't have anything. Modeling was my life and I wasn't doing anything else. It was the only thing I focused on. It was the only thing that I put my self-worth in was the way that I looked. And if I would have gotten, I was so afraid when I was living in New York City as a model, I was so afraid of getting in a car accident because I thought if I get a scar across my face or I break my nose or something happens to the way that I look, I'm gonna be useless and worthless. And that's so not true because there's so much more to you and there's so much more to me than the way that you look. And I want you to just kind of chew on that for a minute. There's so much more to you than that. And I honestly think that if that's where you are right now, if modeling is the only thing in your life, that's very sad because there's so much more to you than just the way you look. And I took my looks to the extreme. When I was in New York, I partied hard. I mean, I went out there and I drank myself into oblivion. I did a lot of drugs. And there were times that I wound up in places that I didn't even know where I was because I was so messed up. I um, dated musicians and rock stars that you would know if I told you who they were. And you'd think that that's the glamorous life, but it's really not. Try waking up in a bathroom when you've drank so much and you don't even know who you are or where you are. And you don't even know who's been in there with you. And I tell you those things because all of this might be glamour and cool and fun, and it is, but you can't forget what's really important and that's where your heart is and staying true to yourself. And don't allow this business of fashion to overtake you so much that you forget who you are. Don't allow it to overtake you that you do things that you wouldn't normally do. And I just challenge you, you know, I've been down that road. I, I've, I've tried everything there is to try, you know, and I just, it was all a dead end. And there was one day that I found myself on my knees and I looked up and I said, God, you got to help me. And my life has been different ever since. And I just want you to know, and I'm not trying to scare you, but if you go out and work in this business, try, to, try not to just focus all on the outside. Keep your focus on the inside on beauty. And let me tell you about beauty. What do you call that thing where you take a word and then you say, like, what B means, what E means, acrostitch? Acronym. Well, let me do an acronym for you. Take the word beauty, and here's what beauty means. Be yourself. Just be yourself. Don't try to be something that you're not. And you know what? When I was out there dating rock stars and drinking and partying, that wasn't me. I was doing that just because I thought it was going to make me look cool. And I wound up in some pretty bad places. E means eager to help others. You're eager to look around at the people that are next to you, girls maybe that break a heel or... They need to borrow some lotion, I don't know. Or you see a girl that she needs to pull her bathing suit down in the back, who knows, toilet paper on your shoe. You, you're eager to help others. You're not always concerned about self. A, attitude, attitude makes a difference. You know what, your attitude will make or break you. You got a bad attitude, you don't have a bad day. Guess what, works the other way around. You got a good attitude, you're gonna have a good day. You, understanding others. You know what, if you look around this room, there's a lot of people with different skin color. White, brown, dark brown, black, shades of yellow, shades of red. 
And until you can get past only liking people that have the same color of skin that you do, you're going to have some serious problems because there are some beautiful people out in this world that may not look like you do, may not have as much money as you do, um, may not live in the same neighborhood as you, but you know what? You can learn something from everybody. And you don't judge people based on the way that they look. <laughs> T, thankful hearts. When's the last time you said thank you to somebody? Let me ask you this. Have you said thank you to the person that paid all the money for you to come here since you've been here this week? Now would be a great time to do that. Give them a hug, whoever you're with, and tell them thank you. That makes you beautiful, being thankful. And why? Why means this. You put your priorities in order. For the last few weeks, my priorities have been so out of order. I've had so much going on with convention and personal life, and my priorities have been out of order, and my life has felt almost like chaos. But when you put your priorities in order, when you put God first, when you put God first, everything else just falls right into place. And I want to challenge you, if you're feeling funky or whatever, or if something's just wrong in your heart, you're feeling weird about all this modeling stuff and the way that you look, come talk to me afterwards and let me just share with you some things that have gone on in my life maybe that would help you. But I just, I want to just challenge you this week as you go out, try and take the focus off of, your, off of yourself and the outside and really think about your goals, not physically, but just making it down the runway and feeling good about yourself and trying to take the focus off of you and putting it on others. And that's where you're the most beautiful. That's where you're the most beautiful. And I just want to encourage you. I think you guys all did a great job. And um, I'm going to be around this week cheering for you, smiling at you, doing the YMCA if we have to backstage, <laughs> push-ups even, I don't know. But whatever it takes. And Sunday is callbacks. And, and at some point this week, I want you to think about callbacks, interviews. Be very realistic with yourself, how you're going to feel if you don't get any, how you're going to feel if you get one, if you get ten. But you know what? Ultimately, there's only one callback that matters. And that's your eternal callback. And if you want to talk about that later, I'll be backstage. I'm very proud of you. I think you guys did great. Have a wonderful week, everybody. Bye-bye. <laughs>